This is Glitch King with Tech Expertise TV today, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, how we make our videos. Well, not entirely. That's for another video. But you know what our setup looks like, and also uh, our servers. Three of them that we have. Um, I'm also filming on side of my phone because that right there, the camera, it died. Oh, uh, wah, wah, wah. But so we're just going to make the best of it. So. Filming on my phone. I uh, know it's not going to be the best. Hope you like it. So let's go ahead and get started. So, right here is the desk setup, something y'all never really get to see. Right there's my main screen. That's the laptop. We edit inside of uh, DaVinci Resolve. That's a little, I'm testing something right there. This is just the browser where I just search and get content, not just for making videos, but also doing research for other things uh, outside of just YouTube. Here's XCPNG Center where, you know, it's used for me to manage my Zen servers or XCPNG servers. Here is uh, two command prompts. They're empty. This is just showing what I would typically have. Now, sometimes I will actually just have this moved over to that monitor, but of course right now I'm not because I'm not that busy because I'm not really doing anything. I would typically have uh, two other command prompts on this screen. So right here, this is just used to manage the servers. This screen here, now I just have it open to my page currently, but typically I have, you know, uh, our analytics for our channel. You know, how much subscribers are getting, I'm gonna blur all that out right there. Uh, other things to research like, I don't know, something to remember when we're editing a video to keep that up there, you know, what things we want inside our video or, or how do we want it, you know, what direction we're going with it. Another thing is, this is our, uh, you know, router. This is how our topology is. It's based off the router and this is the Raspberry Pi 2B Plus and it's running Pi Hole to filter the network to block ads, porn, and virus websites, yada, yada, yada. Now, of course, we're going to be switching over from this. Uh, I'll go more, I'll go a little bit briefly over how we have our network and why it looks like that. And here is the server room or server closet, really. Um, so right here you have, we have a R610. Let me see if this flashlight turns on. Yep. So we have R610 Dell Enterprise Server. Um, we have our modem. We have the QNAP NAS server, a KVM switch. Well, it's actually not a KVM switch. It's a VGA switch. Then we have a managed switch right here. It is a Netgear a ProSafe. Then we have our Think Center. It's just really a Lenovo desktop converted over to a server. I bought it because of price and performance, but also I like its console style. So here's another look at that QNAP NAS server. Then we have a router here running DDWRT, which I turn off the wireless, of course. I don't need all this Wi-Fi here. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> uh, we're not dumb. So we just have that converted over to a switch. It's not passing any uh, DHCP, none of that good stuff. It's all coming from the router over there. Um, so a quick rundown. Oh, another thing is here's that switch right there. That um, is This is the KVM. This is just a VGA switch or, uh, yeah, switch. This is our KVM right there in our gear. Now, you may notice that our gear is dusty. This is actually because we do have them running all the time. However, it's been off for the last month because I'm trying to look into ways to lower the power bill um, and heat. Now, of course, it's in a closet. I don't keep it closed. Um, there's better ways to do things. Everyone's going to say, oh, do this, do that. Yes, I know of ways to make the heat go away. Yada, 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 yada. And um, num num is the way I want to go about doing it for uh, our situation. Down here is just a router that um, I have just used as a switch. It's not passing anything. I use this when I want to connect to the PFSense uh, machines inside of this R610 so it will run from there into here then from Ethernet cable uh, so it'll go from there inside my R610 one of those ports is dedicated as a LAN trunk port um, and then it'll go from there into the WAN port of this here then I'll 
take a ethernet cable, connect to one of these LAN ports, connect it to my laptop and manage it there. What I've done since then, I no longer really use this, but it's just sitting on the floor. I have one of the Windows virtual machines. Yes, I should have used Linux. But um, one of Windows virtual machines is it has one of the um, you know VIF virtual interfaces that connects to that very same uh, trunk port. So I just load up that VM from the console or VNC to it from my computer over there or anywhere really in my house. Well, anywhere really, and um, manage it. I don't have to be stuck to this cable. It's just over the network, right? So that's that. Now. Here's the router I'm going to use for convergence just for right now. Later on, this router here will be for convergence or another one. That uh, router there, when I switch it over to just being a P um, and just giving Wi-Fi so that my network does not be down, that's horrible English, we're going to be using this right here, this crappy Netgear. Now, I don't want to touch this because I just um, some other configurations other than just making a switch there's some other things I've done to it uh, and it's just running now it says that the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz is on but I'm telling you I turned it off and I feel like these routers say that it's off but it's not really off now I labeled up my ports and etc etc I'll go over the switching fabric in another video but as to what these cables are doing I'll go over that really briefly so Right now, the start of my network is actually coming from over here in the wall. Um, watch out, Flashy boy. This is Flash. This is one of the coolest dogs on the planet ever. Hey, Flashy boy, you're a good boy. Oh, look at you. Aren't you a good boy? See, some people like cats, but cats are lame. Yep, we like dogs over here. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. So, this is where the internet in is. Um, I forgot the name that I actually call it in the proper way, but it comes in as a black cable. I have a uh, little, I forgot what it's called, splitter right there, and it becomes a white uh, coaxial cable. So that goes from there in the wall all the way around my door. Yes, it's tape. <laughs> it's just what I want to do. So if you have a problem with it, then don't do it. There you go. So it goes down the door all the way into the closet into the modem now from the modem here you see this uh, blue ethernet cable and it is labeled um, it's going to be changed over to something else that's why I pre-labeled it for what it's going to be but it runs from there back to the router so it come, goes there under all this I'm trying to hide the wires by the way I do want to mention this all this is in under construction it's not perfect right now I did have it neater, but I'm constantly working on it right now, so that is that. It comes out of here, goes back up the same way, same path into the router. So it goes into its LAN port, and then from there, this LAN port right here, uh, you know, I get Wi-Fi in the router, um, and then I have access to, did I say LAN port? LAN port. Then I have access to these LAN ports here. Here's one that just goes into the uh, TV. I don't just have things on Wi-Fi that don't need to be on Wi-Fi. Get a faster connection. Um, there's a handsome picture way back over yonder. Um, then from the router, I have this gray cable here. It's running back over. Same path. Same good stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Back into here. Now... Before I uh, go into there, I know y'all are going to ask me what the hell was this, right? This duct tape that I have for some stuff I'm working on. I just have it sitting there. Back to where we're at. Okay, so it goes into that DDWRT router, as I said. And from there, I just basically have stuff all connected, same ports and stuff. No trunk port, I mean, no VLAN taggings are uh, really being pushed to the current network. So... We'll go over that and the switching fabric in another video. I have two Cisco switches. Right here, I have a um, 3800 series, well, 3000 series, and also 1000 series or 1K and 3K. Um, I'm gonna go over those a little bit later. 
This paper here, which I'm not really going to show, is really just the documentation for my setup. Still writing it. Um, let me see. I'm going to spin this around so y'all can see what's going on there. Just a moment. And until I do that, I also have some other computers here. Epson. Uh, Triumph. And so as you see right here, these are the actual front of the machines I guess you could say um, the place I got it from they had it mounted the other way which is technically not proper but um, you, could, you could take out some of these well I would need to take this off and you could pull out the whole motherboard and put other components in here such as for Wi-Fi here's one of those smart cards uh, the memory card there's another one Cut. I just need another um, shield. Those are supposed to be cheap. On off switch, you know, and some other stuff there. We'll go over that on another video. But until then, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bam.